Hey y'all, it's Charity. Thank you for coming in today. Um, we are going to be pressing um, uh, an athletic sleeve. And I'm also going to show you how I made a jig for it. Um, so, you're going to need some cardboard or something. This is some boxes that you can get for free from the post office. Um, it was just something that I had lying around. So I use this. I'm going to show you how I created this wonderful, perfect sock jig in like one minute. So, um, I have my X-Acto knife. So basically, I'm going to use this middle panel. Let's see if you can see. Use this middle panel, and initially, and let me see. Initially, I was going to just cut um, this little middle panel off. However, that would make this arm area very stretched out. Um, my husband doesn't really care for the loose fitting stuff, so um, I'm just going to show you. All you're going to do is kind of trace right outside. of it. Okay. And right here is going to leave me a little extra here and here. So one side you can do extremely tight, but you're realizing that you want to have some stretch. So I'm going to go a little bit outside. Like I could be, I don't know if you can tell. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna move my sheet out the way already. Make sure. And this y'all works for socks and everything. You just have to be mindful of the box that you have because sometimes this box will transfer onto your substrate. So if you have plain um, that would probably be best. And I'm probably just like a half an inch off. And I'm doing this because, um, initially I made my husband a Laker. And this, I'm just going to break this off. A Laker, um, not Laker, not Laker. Oh yeah, it was a Laker. A liquor light armband, and it was black like this. But when you put it on, it stretches a little bit. So I kind of wanted to give a little bit of that stretch ahead of time to kind of just get more of a rich black when it stretches as well. So let's see, this way you can kind of. Make sure you were right about things. So, it's a little outside, which is fine. We'll see if it's too big. So, start from the bigger side. Because this kind of tapers out. So, like you would do a sock jig if you're doing that. So, in this, we just kind of stretch out some more. You just have to use what you have, honestly. And I've never pressed with this particular jig, but we'll see if my logic behind it makes sense. So this is supposed to continue to be cut here, but whatever. Okay. So basically, this is it. Um, what I would do is move the seams right over here you have to think in in terms of a, a, a flat press and even with this it may still give me a thin line but um just like a jig you can just move it over a little bit and that's also a part of why i have this black background so i'm gonna get started i've already printed um i did do a video showing you guys how to do airbrush 
um i think i will offer that as like a template where you guys can just plug in your own you know you can plug in something instead of blue and get this same airbrush look if you guys are interested please let me know so that i can get that going because i did make a template and i'm eager to make more so back to this um this was about i think i did six by 18 which gives more than enough leeway on each side now i didn't measure this with a tape measure i just laid it down on my cricut mat because you just gotta use what's around sometimes so i'm going to have this and prep this for pressing and i'll be right back okay y'all this is for a 13 by 19 i'm using a 13 by 19 sheet of paper so i'm just going to half it and set up like normal uh, i am going to pre-press my sleeve in hopes that it may flatten the cardboard some just to make sure it'll close and the pressure and all that is fine okay it will i'm gonna let you guys know when doing jigs of cardboard you may smell it okay so i'm just gonna bring it in closer because at this point I think I'm done with the desk. Okay, y'all. So here we are. As usual, parchment. Turn it down. Also, well, I should do this the other way. Okay, I have it laid down. Let's see my seam here. Okay, I got it now. You need to make sure you're doing everything right before you put it down. Because if I would have pressed this way, it wouldn't have gone. So my, my idea is this is the arm, and I want the lettering on this side. So I'm going to directly tap it here. And I don't know if you can tell, here this is covered. Here, this is covered. So my template is well beyond what I need. Have it there. Of course, there is a heat tape shortage here. Why do I keep losing heat tape? Better yet, why do I press record to no heat tape? So we're just gonna, I guess, have to trust it. Trust. This could be very annoying, not good, blah, blah, blah. We'll see. Let me see. I have to find some heat tape. Now this is going to send out heat tape. And, okay, I went from having it straight like this to then recognizing, here's my image, let's curve it. So, I'm thinking, because I feel a little something on top and bottom, top and bottom. So I think this is all right. And I'm showing you what not to do, because you definitely should use your, um, da -da -da, keep it. Try to go slow so it won't move. Mm. Okay, so I'll be back. My 
not gonna look. I'm just gonna flip this puppy right over. Oh, never mind. I gotta cool off so I get this out of here. This, I think, is assessing my pressure. So I wouldn't be surprised if right here under the L it's not as black. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But that's okay. But this is indicative of where pressure didn't happen. It's not enough because it didn't snatch all the color. So I really could. Okay, bring it a little bit. Bring it black. A little bit. Move it. Move it. Move it. Now, unlike socks, where I think you would just move a little bit. What if I wish? We'll say, what if we try without? Let's do one side with it on, and this way with it out. And this will also show you the amount of stretch, because I'll be able to just place this right in here. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get your lint off. if I could just get that a little bit folded I'm gonna try something what now for me to miss this Truly disappointing. Okay, but I'm gonna find a fix. Oh, that's not the way. And then loop. Loop and loop. Hmm. I don't wanna mess up this, but I do. And M. I'm it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna press this way and I'm just gonna come back with black in areas that did not get hit basically. Okay, here we are. This is what I'm gonna do. Give me some scraps. <clears throat> and we'll see if I can take care of it in one moment. I like to show you guys my mistakes as well. So, for the area that was not blackened, I'm just gonna lay this here. With that being on the back side, it may not even make a big difference because, you know, we don't press that way. Again, it has to be within this guidelines or you need a new sheet. And I think this will be really cute in the fresh prints kind of kind of thing. I'm thinking about that right in this moment, so you will probably see some fresh print, airbrush, spray paint, 
something or other for me soon. Okay, make it sure it's totally covered. Just try again, this time without the jig. And I'll be back. Okay. okay, so the reveal. <laughs> oh, this is obviously going to be the same. Oh, this is the new side. Tripping. Okay, so I did good. I did good. Okay, so look. It didn't come as much. Let's see. I think it looks good. Do, 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 do. Now, I'm just saying, does it, does it look in airbrushed or sublimated? Do, 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 do. So, the same template creating situation applies. Like, my pressure was all off on the first one because this black is just. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put some of this black, some more black right here, just because I have some. Okay, uh-oh, am I still recording? Okay, I'm gonna put my jig back on and try to press out. Um, okay, because you could come back through with black and put a thin line, and I'm, I might, let's see. I'm not gonna reprint, but if I have already printed something that will work for this little scene, then cool. If not, in a well. Oh, I think I actually put my jig on wrong. Hmm. Oh, and let's see if our inside got stained. It did not. So I would say priority shipping boxes are fine. I don't know if I feel like going through this extra trouble. This, I think, is that second little piece that I added to kind of blacken this up and you see it really didn't. But you can see right here. Whatever, I'm actually gonna be satisfied with it and moving on, but if you were to repress it to get this all the way black, put it on your jig, tape it here because anywhere else is on your image. That's why it's not worth it to me. But um, you could put another strip, but do know like here it's gonna look like a like a double layer like you can tell when you double press even if it's the same color oh, or, or you know what? I was wrong with that I'll take that back what I'm seeing here is this so doing that this will definitely stay in the back of this black whatever but anyways y'all thanks for watching and the airbrush template if you want it Send me a message.